Um, I thought it would be fun to post a little question and answer video um, from my college roommate. So she kind of has a unique story about how she was introduced to mascara and so I'm gonna let her share that and then she's just gonna talk about the product and how awesome it is. So we're gonna switch, so switch. I'm gonna record. Okay, so this is my beautiful college roommate, Erin, <laughs> and we've been friends for like 15, 15 years? years. That's, mm -hmm. that's crazy. She's married, she has four kids. Sometimes she works, sometimes she doesn't. She's a busy mama. Um, and so she came to visit and to see this little cutie, Janie. Say hi. Yeah. Hi, sweet girl. Okay, so Erin, why don't you tell me about how you were introduced to mascara, your first experience, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I was introduced first like two years ago. Um, I just went back and looked, and it was August of 2017 is when I had placed my first order. And um, it was a family friend I had heard about it and we did an online color match and then I ordered the makeup and I started using it and I super loved the way it made my face look but um, I also could like see all my pores <laughs> I was like I don't know like I just don't feel like it's the right coloring and um, and so I ended up stop using it and then I went on the, the hunt for the last two years to like find the perfect makeup. So you just stopped using it because the colors weren't right and so it just didn't look right on you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. then you went on the search for other makeup. For the perfect color. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and so I tried uh, Urban Decay. I've tried IT Cosmetics, I've tried Estee Lauder, um, just a ton, <laughs> spent a lot of money on foundation. And so what wasn't working for those other foundations? Um, again, just kind of the color of it, I, well, okay, so I bought the foundation and then when you get foundation, like you have to do more, otherwise you like a ghost, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I bought foundation, I bought the contour, so my foundation was like 40. My contour kit and highlight kit was another 40. Like one foundation was 40, mind you. Not just all of them. <laughs> um, the blush set was like 25, 30. Um, I've spent a lot on makeup, a lot. And then um, I found like they would crease or uh, one thing would be like, I would blot it on and then I would start blending it and by the time I would get to the other half of my face, it was like so stuck on my face, I couldn't even blend it in anymore. So I'd have to try to do like a little on my forehead and blend that and then a little on my cheeks and then blend that and then a little here and blend that and it was just a nightmare. So so then yeah. how did you get reintroduced to mascara or what made you, oh, I'll give it another try. Um, so when you, Cassie, <laughs> um, started selling it, then I was like, Oh, I really do love it. And so I thought like maybe I should just try it out again, but with a different color this time. Okay. So when we <clears throat> matched you with a different color, how did it change from your first experience with mascara? Okay. Um, I've just really loved it. I feel like it actually matches and I don't see all of my pores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's just like really smooth and pretty flawless. 
Okay. I mean, I guess you could be the judge because you can see my face. Well, so maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, you are pretty <laughs> flawless. So tell me what, I guess, what problems does mascara fix that your other makeup might have caused? Well, besides like the drying on, um, like the time that it takes. Okay. How long did it take with your old routine versus this routine? Probably double. Okay. Probably double. Okay. Um, there was one thing you told me that you really liked how when you're going somewhere in the car. Oh yeah, yeah, Tell yeah, me yeah, about yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. So like, um, so like, okay, we have four kids. They're within five years, so they're like a tight little group, and especially like on Sundays when we're trying to get to church, I get everybody ready. And then, like, there's no time for myself. So it's either, like, go without makeup or, like, just some mascara um, or take it in the car. And usually, like, with my other makeup, I can't, you can't take that in the car. And so I love the mascara because it's, like, in the little compact. You just grab your brush. I grab, like, the blending, the, what do you... Perfector. The perfector sponge. The perfector sponge. And the little compact. And you, I literally, like, and we only live maybe, like, less than a mile from our church. And I am able to just, like, put that on and I'm ready to go. Like, in the car. Or, like, if we're going on a date, like, it's the same thing. Like, I'm busy, busy, busy. And I don't have time until I'm in the car. So I just take it in the car with me and do it. Okay. And it's super clean. It doesn't like, it doesn't get on your clothes or anything. Because a lot of the powders like flake down here and you're like, oh. Right. Yeah. So I've had some questions about price. I think sometimes people get scared with makeup because they don't want to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Um, is it worth it? So let's talk about the difference for you. Well, like I kind of said, like, my foundation was 40, my contour was 40, my blush was 25, um, and, and that's, what is that, 80, 90, 105-ish? Yeah, over 100. Over 100 dollars for just those things. Um, and, I mean, like, with mascara, it's like $14 a 10. Right. Which is, and it literally lasts me like the same amount of time as my big bottle of it. Okay. So it's a huge difference. Okay. So, and tell me, so I've told people you buy the four tins at mm -hmm. once, mm -hmm. but then do you ever buy four tins again at the same time? I've never, ever. Okay. Right. Like maybe one. Well, one or maybe two. maybe two at the same time. Okay. Um, do you use their eyeshadows at all? I haven't bought any, but when you did my makeover, you used them on me. And I loved them because they were like, they stayed on the whole entire day. Okay. And I have problems with that because of my hooded eye, right? Mm -hmm. So where it creases, I get like creasing along that line a lot. Okay. And I didn't have any of that. So besides the four basic 3D foundation, what other products have you used that you like or that you bought or that you want to buy next time? Um, so I have only bought those four products. Mm -hmm. But like I've used yours for the past three or four days. Mm -hmm. And I've used your... Um, setting spray and that is heavenly and it's like a breath of fresh air on your face and like the smell mm -hmm. it's like vanilla or something I don't know um, the bronzer I really liked that the setting powder just kind of takes the, up the yeah your, vanilla dust yeah vanilla dust just kind of takes away like your greasy shiny face okay and do you own any brushes from mascara? Do you use your own brushes? Uh, both. 
Okay. So I own the, I don't know what it's called. Detailed hack? It has like the contour in. Yeah, the detailed hack. Yeah, the detailed hack brush. It has like a tinier end and then more of like a fluffy end. And that one, um, I can pretty much do all of the mascara makeup with that. Okay. Like I use the fluffy end for the highlighting and blush and I use the skinnier end for like the contouring and then just the perfecting sponge. Okay. So really I can use just those for all of it. Those two. But I some... just have other brushes for like my eyeshadow and all the right. kind of mascara. But... Well is there anything else that you want anyone to know about the makeup, how much you love it, how much you don't like it, what do you want to say? I would just say try it. Like it's hard to just sit here and tell you how it makes you look and feel until you actually try it and then you're like wow like pardon my French holy crap. <laughs> 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 like I don't know it just it's just like so nice and and people will compliment you like wow your face looks so good you know it's just I don't know until you try it like it's it's hard to explain so how it you, makes you feel do you think that when people compliment you on how you look is it the makeup is it the confidence that comes out what do you think it is uh I mean it's probably a little both because like for me, I have a, a lot of redness in my face, like a lot of redness in my face um, without makeup. And so I'm sure that they notice like it's more of a, a even? even tone. Yeah. So I'm sure they see that difference, but, but yeah, I mean, it does like make you feel like, hey, like, woo, you know. <laughs> All right, well. I don't know. Just try it, and if it, and if it doesn't work the first time, get a different color, because it could very, very well be the coloring on it. Okay. So I just want to go back off what she said. It, it is very important that you get the right color, and if most of the time when makeup looks funny or patchy or cakey, it's because you don't have the right color, and it will. We can fix that. Um, so, and they have a policy where if you need to exchange a color, you can, you can, you can send it back and they'll send you a different color. So don't be afraid to buy it. And then if we need to switch colors, uh, we can do that. So anyway, I just want to say thanks to Erin and thank you guys for watching and comment on this video. If you have questions about the product, you can comment and Erin can answer and we did not we did not practice this. Yet. She totally was like, hey, so I was thinking like, you want to do a question and answer? And I was like, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So she, she did not pay me for this. <laughs> I, and I did, it, I, I did it on purpose. I wanted to shock her so that she didn't really have a ton of time to think about it. I did give her a little bit of time, but yeah, this is all honest answers. So she'd be willing to answer questions and she'll yeah. tell you what she likes and what she doesn't like and any of that stuff. Thanks for watching.